Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick tip from NextGen Cam. My name is Omer and today we are going to be talking about some of the new changes that's coming to Fusion 360 this month. We have some features moving around, so buckle up and let's take a look at the new feature structure from Autodesk Fusion 360. Alright, so if you are currently using the base version of Fusion 360, these are some of the changes that will be directly affecting you in some ways. Prior to March 29th, which is when Autodesk will be going live with these changes, you still have access to Fusion 360's 4 and 5 axis simultaneous machining toolpaths. Uh, these include toolpaths like Swarf, Multi Axis Contour, and the Rotary toolpath. You, however, do not have access to a feature known as interactive tool orientation controls. And now for the changes. So as you can see here, after March 29th this year, there will be some big changes, especially if you're using some of Fusion 4 and 5 axis toolpath, and you're on the base package. Autodesk is now redistributing its feature list to better align with the different categories of services they offer. All four and five axis simultaneous machining toolpaths will move to the machining extension exclusively. Now these again include, but are not limited to, limited to the Swarf, the multi-axis contour toolpath, multi-axis flow, multi-axis tilting uh, will all be moved to the machining extension. Meaning that these toolpaths can only be accessed now only if you purchase the machining extension package for Fusion 360. That is not the only change, however, because as you can see, meanwhile, the interactive tilt control feature, which I mentioned earlier, was only available through the ma machining extension package. Uh, but now it will be added to the list of features available to you on the base package of Fusion 360. I will go over what exactly the tilt control feature is as we go through this video. Do however keep in mind that the changes that are being made also affect the many in-development features that Autodesk Fusion 360 is currently working on, especially with the machining extension package. We're expecting a continuous four axis contour toolpath and a four and five axis roughing strategy that are currently in development and expected to be a part of Fusion 360's growing multi-axis feature list. The toolpaths you see here will be moving to the machining extension package after March 29th. These multi-axis finishing strategies offer customers who use them the ability to finish complex four and five axis parts and can be crucial to your workflow. My personal favorite, which is the steep and shallow, can save you time programming segmented toolpaths to blend between steep and shallow areas and can now all be done under one complete toolpath. The machining extension, which will now house all these cool toolpaths, should be an important tool in your machining process. The interactive tilt control feature is an automated process to assist you in picking the optimum angular direction for your machining purpose. Whether you're using the tip of the tool or the side, you can now avoid having to construct plane and axis geometries in the design workspace as references and directly use the axis deal axis directional wheels to help pick your tool orientation. All right, so I have this helmet mold that I have now almost finished machining. I just need to go back in here and finish up this radius in here. I want to use my tool tilted so that I don't have to overextend it and have it chatter too much. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple 3D contour there using this 3 8 ball mill with a tapered shaft on it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pick this chain in here. Edit that very quickly just to like bound it to this. 
And now what I can do is I'm going to turn my tool orientation on. And as you can see, you're going to see this new option here with this wheel that gives you much more freedom to move at different angles. So I'm going to give it a reference plane to start off with. I'll select this as my Z reference plane. Um, and now you can also use these wheels to decide how we want to turn this tool in multiple different axes. And I will show you how that looks here. I'm going to give it a step down of 40 thou. I'll hit OK. So as you can see, now we have the tool coming in at this angle all the way down. You also have the capability now of like setting up different aligned views. So if I was to edit this again and under my tool orientation, I can actually have it say aligned to view. So whichever view that you're looking at this mold from, you're just going to immediately snap that Z axis perpendicular to the view that you're looking at. So for example, if I was looking at it this way, a little steeper, I'll say aligned to view. As you can see now, that's completely perpendicular to me. If I hit OK, the tool is now going at a steeper angle all the way down. Again, you can come in here and edit this at whatever time to get, you know, finer adjustments and refine the axis that you're looking for. You also have the dialog box if you're looking for very specific angles to turn into. Um, you need it to go steeper again you can just click and drag the wheel and it'll give you a steeper angle you can also decide which direction x you wanted to come into but okay just so you can see a different version of that tool and that's how you use the new tilt control on fusion 360. so we talked about what are the changes that are happening and when these will be happening by so let's look at why they are actually happening so even though Fusion 360 offers great solutions for 4 and 5 axis simultaneous features, they may be lacking in their depth of choice. Autodesk is planning on improving upon this by categorically focusing on the multi-axis toolpath customers and planning to offer a simplified purchasing experience. Autodesk also wants to bring advanced tilt control capabilities to all Fusion 360 customers. Now this was previously only available to machining extension users, but now are available to users on the Fusion 360 base package as well. So to wrap up, here's just a quick little summary about the things that we've discussed today. So as I said, on March 29th, 2022 this year, uh, Autodesk will be updating a lot of the features that are available on Fusion 360 especially in the four and five axis simultaneous machining environment. Certain features will be moving to the manufacturing extension package. And we also have advanced tilt control features moving to the Fusion 360 base package. So in order to make sure that you're current and up to date with all these features, make sure you're choosing the right package for yourself. As with anything, Nextgen Cam is here to assist you in case you're looking to make the transition to the machining extension package. <clears throat> if you're on the base version of Fusion 360 and still want to make use of the four and five multi-axis simultaneous toolpaths without disruption to your workflow, get in touch with us today for more information. We are happy to answer any questions or concerns you may be having with these changes. Don't wait. Click on the link in the description to view our e-store and make a direct purchase of the machining extension to keep using these features and also gain access to a ton of new features such as advanced inspection workflows, direct toolpath editing, and additive manufacturing. The manufacturing extension is more than just advanced multi-axis toolpaths. For more information on the machining extension and its perks, click on the link in the description as well. As always, make sure to subscribe to NextGen Cam's channel and hit that like button so you can stay in the know with all things Fusion 360. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.